find yourself in a busy spot, you're talking to a camera, and you feel like an idiot. And you are. You are. You're different than everybody else. No one else is talking to a camera. They're playing with balloons and throwing plastic things at you. I used to be so terrified. It's still a little terrifying. But I'll play a little clip. My first ever vlog in public. Boom. The mall now. I'm in a mall now. I don't feel stupid. I never go out in public. I'm frightened of everybody looking at me right now. I feel so stupid. Why am I doing it with the furry thing? That makes it so much worse. So in today's video, I'm just gonna throw some tips at you to feel more comfortable in public talking amongst the civilized people of the earth in Thailand. It helps when you know that they don't speak English. A little bit, it's a life hack. All I want is the perfect camera. So my first tip is just to thrust yourself right into it. Don't even try to... <laughs> she had pink hair. She had pink hair. She was 70 years old. Go to a mall or the busiest spot in your city and just start filming. One take, just record and start walking through and try to get your message across, whatever that message is. What I like to do, I think vlogs are kind of stupid if it's you're just like tracking your life. I always want to come up with a topic. Like it's still a normal video, I'm just walking around town talking about it. So come up with your topic, then go to a super busy place and then just start filming and then start talking about your topic, see what happens. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then just do that. I tell you this, it is so much harder when there's just one person coming. You're walking down a sidewalk and that motherfucker is walking towards you like, oh, shit. I'm talking. And you try to maintain your concentration, it ain't happening. I break it every time. Whereas when you're in an entire universe of people, you do stand out a little bit, but not as much as if it was one or two people coming. It's like, oh, there's one guy and he's talking to a camera. What's he doing? And you walk by and then they wave to you. It's fun. I always love watching these videos because I'm like editing them after. I'll be just filming this and then some guy will wave in the background. I'm like, I didn't notice that when I was filming. So that's tip number one. Just throw yourself into the fire and embrace it. Embrace it, my friend. My second tip, bring a little camera. Don't bring the Casey Neistat set up your first go. You don't want to stand out too much. I mean, if you want to go to the advanced level and you're ready for it, okay, get yourself a Canon 62 on a Gorillapod and just stand out like a sore thumb. Like when I'm walking with this thing, people think I'm recording. They don't realize how important it is. They're just like, what is that little toy camera? It's making a kid's show for children. Hi, Mom. Oh, glorious coconut water. I want you in my belly. My third tip is you have to get your mind set straight. Like, realize you're a badass. You're a badass. You're making money. Everybody's out here spending money. You're walking around making it. If you have any subscribers, which you probably don't. But one day, <laughs> like when I'm walking around, I'm just like, this is my job. I'm walking around. My job is to walk around the grocery store. How do you think I afford the coconut water? I think most people care too much what other people think of them. And I'm guilty of it. I'm not immune. That's for sure. So what do you crap? <laughs> she was like... You ever find yourself talking to somebody and the only thing you're thinking of is your facial expression? And you're just wondering like... What do I do? Smile? Nod? Should I do that? No, don't. <laughs> I do that all the time. I don't know why. It's like, you can't even... I wish I could just stop thinking what other people see. It's just such a stupid thing. Like, I just want to pay attention on what somebody is saying. And all the time, I'm just more focused on my reaction to what they're saying. And then I miss half of it. That can't be good. But I think we care way too much about what people think. So when you're vlogging in public, you're worried. All I 
can say is nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. Nobody's noticed it. They look for a second. They glimpse. And they're like, what the hell is that guy? Oh, whatever. I have a lot of problems in my own life. I can't handle that right now. All those people down there. Not one of them cares about what you're doing right now. They all have their own issues that they're thinking of. I mean, people put so much attention into what they wear. Try to tell me you remember what your friend was wearing yesterday when you guys hung out. Nobody, I have no idea what any of my friend's clothes look like. Nobody cares but yourself. And everybody's so focused on themselves, they just, they don't notice you, so realize that. You think you're the center of your universe, and you are, but everybody's their own center, and you're just a pawn in the game of life. Look, Nikon cameras are so bad that they have to give them away, and nobody will take them. They try to give them away, but nobody wants them. She offered me one, and I said no thanks. Oh my god. How does that feel? I think the Canon EOS R felt better. It feels okay. I don't know. Dial clicks, that's not bad. That's awkward. I'd get arthritis if I had to do that. Flip your screen. Does it flip around yet? You can almost. No. No. They were so close. Just Oh, the glorious Canon R. I want you to have my babies. Alright, we got a little distracted. I'm only human. I see a fancy flashy camera, I gotta touch it. Can't blame me. See, he was focused on his little baby. He was having FaceTime with a baby. He didn't notice me vlogging. Stop being so paranoid. So I think I'm out of tips, but just realize you have a cool job. And most people are jealous if anything you got nothing to worry about. And it's awkward as shit, and it never gets easier. It gets slightly easier, but it's still gonna be awkward. It's much easier, I admit, amongst my Asian friends here that have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> and back in Toronto, okay, it's a little harder. But it, you can, it can be done. So, we're just rambling now. I'm not helping anybody. That's fine. Nobody says your YouTube channel has to help people. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.